Hey everybody, I'm Jahan Girarani from Mashable.com. You know, a lot of people have a lot of great business ideas, but only a fraction of them actually follow through. So what does it take to be an entrepreneur? We recently spoke to a few CEOs who are running their own startups, and we learned from them firsthand what it takes to pitch, run, and grow your own business. Here's what they had to say. Before you pitch a VC, I hope you already met him, because if you haven't met him, I wonder how that meeting's gonna go. Get to know some of these investors, dive into the community, be a part of the community before you start pitching people. You wanna go in front of your smartest friends and pitch and have them say, how are you gonna get to that market size? I don't get that. The best slide presentations don't even get open. Any serious conversation I've had, the person brings out the slides, and then within minutes, we've closed the laptop and we're just discussing, conversing about the idea. You build a really great prototype, and then you reach out to people who are in the industry. Your business plan is only as good as your demo. In fact, I don't want to see your business plan. Uh, there really is no excuse anymore not to have a demo out there. How to wireframe a website, raise money, how to get incorporated as a business. Schedule stuff or it doesn't happen. You have to have a great lawyer and a great accountant. What are we going to get done now versus what are we going to table for later? You have to be kind of a jack of all trades. Literally every single step of the way is a new learning process. Rookie mistakes. God, there's so many. Oh my God. How long do you have? A lot of rookies think up uh, ideas in a vacuum that are divorced from what the real market problems are. We would spend a lot of time thinking about what color a particular button should be. You can spend way too much time on financing. I ended up paying a developer to come work for us really early on. That felt like a really ro rookie mistake. Do not start a business without an idea that you vetted with many, many people. Nobody knows how to do everything by themselves. It's ultimately a team sport. Be supportive when there are bad days. Just relax, take it easy. Don't get too uptight about things. Just surround yourself with people that you trust. Be agreeable. If you have a strong opinion, listen to the other person. Maybe they have a good point. Just start throwing stuff at the wall. Just start building stuff. Just start figuring out what your company idea is going to be. Make five different products. Figure out which one is the winner. If you want to get involved in startups, like there's nothing holding you back. Just get in right now. There's tons of people who need help starting companies. Facebook shouldn't be resting on their laurels, you know, because some like two kids in a garage somewhere are building the next big thing and we don't even know what it is.